course, is Black History Month, and this morning we are honored to bring you the story of a remarkable pioneer. Yes, yeah, she's an airline pilot clearing the runway for other girls to follow in her footsteps. What do we love as pilots? It's taxiing down that runway. You then stand those throttles up. You feel that sheer power from the engine as you start to roll down the runway. We pull back on those controls. You feel that airplane ascend, and you feel that you become one with that airplane. You're taking an airplane greater than 170,000 pounds in the air, and then you have control of that. 41-year-old Beth Powell is a pilot for American Airlines. I remember going to high school and I loved everything with numbers and all subjects pertaining to math. Powell was born in Jamaica and was inspired by a teacher to become a pilot. So I was like, Mommy, Daddy, my teacher told me I could become a pilot, a mechanic, or an engineer. My dad posed an innocent question, asked him if there are any female pilots because he has never seen any. Of course, I was very supported from both. We decided to research that avenue. Powell moved to Vero Beach, Florida to attend flight school. She received her commercial license at 18. I worked three jobs to finish paying for my flight instructor license so I could become an instructor, teach to get the hours to become a pilot with American Eagle. Powell was inspired by another female pilot. In 1993, Brenda Robinson was the first female African-American pilot for American Airlines. There was this one picture that stood in the flight academy. That was Brenda Robinson. Every time I walked through that hallway and saw that picture, she looked just like me. And that gave me that hope to say, you will become a pilot with American Airlines too. Powell started flying with American Eagle at 21 years old. And in 2014, she became the first officer of the Boeing 737 for American Airlines. But she is still one of the few African-American women in the cockpit. You walk through the airport, you see those head turns looking at you, is that really the pilot? It's so rare to see, and the numbers that's out there is so very small. So I welcome when I see those stairs and I take the time to talk and have a conversation so they recognize, yes, I am the pilot. Today, in commercial aviation, only 4% of airline pilots are women, and even less are women of color. Dare to dream big and dream loud. Powell talks to students, bringing awareness to aviation and paving the way for the next generation of girls. Set your goals. That passion will propel you through and you will truly feel that you never worked in a day in your life because you absolutely love what you do. She also set up a scholarship for more diverse pilots. I know finance can be very challenging and I want to be that person to help give them back, to help them know it's possible. Not just giving them the funds and that's it, but mentoring them along the way because we will have challenges. And it's nice to have that support to say you can do this. And Powell hopes that will bring more diversity in the skies. I'm looking forward to seeing a more diverse community, not just because of the color of our skin or because of our gender or our religion or sexual orientation, but for what that brings. That brings great thoughts, it brings great ideas that adds to innovation and help to make us a better workforce and better company. Sure. She's a trailblazer. Yeah, you know, we've talked about this before, the value in being able to see something. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're young and you aspire to be something or do something, be, being able to actually see that person. Yeah, and people have our path to support her to help her do it. Powell belongs to the organization Sisters of the Skies, and they're hosting a Girls Rock Wings event in Houston this April, where teenagers who have dreams of becoming a pilot get to go up with instructors who look just like